This video script is written by Niha Dash and also edited by Niha Dash. This video script is written by Niha Dash and also edited by Niha Dash. Eight terrifying types of tornadoes and whirlwinds which written by Niha Dash for public domain purpose on the unique features make these storms all the more nightmarish. When you think of a tornado, a classic cone-shaped funnel likely comes to mind. But tornadoes can assume a myriad of shapes and exhibit eerie features and behaviors, making these already menacing monsters all the more nightmarish. Here are some of the most terrifying tornadoes and wind circulations to scan the skies for. Plus, learn about the unique dangers they pose. So check out our list which written by Niha Dash for public domain purpose only. One rope tornado, rope tornado, rope tornado, crosses a dirt road in the Great Plains like their namesake, rope tornadoes feature twists and bends in their long, thin condensation funnels. Their dents and wiggles can form when cool outflow air flowing from a thundercloud's rain and hail shaft hit the tornado, weakening its instability, heat and moisture, and vorticity, air spin, in certain spots. It's why tornadoes tend to rope out during the early and late stages of their life cycles. However, they can also remain arrow like this for their entire lifetimes. Right parenthesis in addition to being squiggly, rope tornadoes are also generally small sized. Some can measure under 30 feet wide, likely smaller than the width of your house. Two rain wrap tornado, rain wrap tornado, rain wrap tornado as the National Weather Service, NWS office in Amarillo, Texas, explains, if a tornado forms from a high precipitation supercell thunderstorm a supercell that sits in an environment where there's high moisture content and lighter winds moving into the storm it can be rain wrapped or hidden by a thunderstorm's heavy rain 4.2 because it's difficult to spot rain wrap tornadoes from a distance, they can be more deadly than ordinary tornadoes. They often take motorists and residents by surprise, especially when these already cloaked tornadoes are further cloaked by nightfall. 3. Satellite Tornado Satellite Tornado Satellite Tornado Storm Chasing Twin Tornadoes Much like a weather satellite orbits the Earth, a satellite tornado revolves around a larger main tornado. While it's a separate secondary tornado, both it and the primary funnel develop from the same parent mesocyclone. Because satellite tornadoes are rare and not well documented, their characteristics and causes remain largely unknown. But according to a study done by NOAA Storm Prediction Center, they tend to be associated with strong to violent EF4 and EF5 main tornadoes, yet are fairly weak EF0 to EF2 rated twisters themselves. Point three. 4. Multi-Vortex Tornado Multi-Vortex Tornado A multiple vortex tornado travels across flat land Multiple vortices isn't the same thing as multiple, but separate tornadoes. Mike Hollingshead slash Getty Images A multiple vortex tornado has two or more vortices, called subvortices, swelling inside of a single tornado. Eventually, the vortices, which typically occur in groups of two to five, may combine into one larger tornado. According to eyewitnesses, multi-vortex twisters are similar to hurricanes, in that there is a short lull between the passage of each vortex. Missouri's 2011 EF5 Joplin tornado was a multi-vortex storm. 5. Wedge tornado Wedge tornado Wedge tornado wide Wedge tornado touches down at sunset If a tornado appears wider than it is tall, or resembles an upside-down pyramid, it's likely a wedge. The city color comes from the considerable amount of dirt and debris they ingest. Wedges tend to be violent EF3, EF4, and EF5 storms, as is the case with the 2013 El Reno, Oklahoma tornado, which rated an EF3 on the enhanced Fujita scale. At 2.6 miles across, it's the largest tornado in U.S. weather history, a record it still holds as of the publication of this article. 6. Water spout Water spout Water spout When water spouts dance across a lake while some water spouts are literally tornadoes that form over water, their dangers include high surf, hail, and frequent lightning, others form from rain clouds that lack a rotating updraft or mesocyclone. Still, seeing one can be jarring, especially if you've only ever seen them on dry land. And in case you're wondering, yes, they can move onshore. 7. Dust Devil Dust Devila Dust Devil whirls across a crop field on a clear day Dust Devils can be jarring to see, because they mimic the shape and swirling movement of tornadoes, yet they form under clear sunny skies. They spin up when the ground warms sufficiently hotter than the air several hundred feet above it, thereby creating an updraft of rising air. Despite their mischievous appearance and name, though, these hot weather whirlwinds are generally harmless. If dust devils grow particularly large, though, their wind speeds can reach 60 miles per hour fast, enough to hold a and do light property damage. 
8. Fire Whirl Fire Whirl Fire Tornado Fire Whirls are another updraft-related whirlwind, except their updrafts are created by the extreme heat of fire, rather than solar heating. According to the NWS, they tower usually about 1 to 3 feet wide, and can tower 50 to 100 feet tall. Their dangers have less to do with their actual vortex, and more to do with their ability to lift lightweight burning materials, such as tree bark, airborne.